coaches. We finished session two last week, and before we set the table for session three, let me recap a couple key points from our last class. In session two, we started with a statement, the last time we talked about blank. Great coaches anchor and link the conversations from their previous conversations. It creates accountability. Practice this idea. It works. Session two is about leadership and performance. We spoke about the three hats you wear. Sometimes you're the manager, sometimes you're leader, and sometimes you're the coach. We also held our very first breakout session to talk about leadership and your personal leadership brand. We reviewed the coaching model. It starts with grow, goal, reality, options, and the way forward. And then we added the five C's, communication, clarity, capability, commitment, and creating trust. We spoke about the ideas about the principles of coaching. And the first one is players don't play if the coaches don't coach. And you could pick any sport or activity and you know that it's true. In this session, we also focused on communication and how we have preferences. We spent the largest time talking about your report, Know Thyself, and how you, you react to other person's behavior style. There's a handout that outlines the whole part that's in the attachment that's to this email. It outlines how to coach with different behavior styles. Before our next session, come prepared with the following deliverables. First, make sure that you've read your report one more time and complete page 16 and I'll ask for a copy. Second, spend the time before our next class to get ready for understanding the behavior styles. Review that handout again. We'll be using them over and over again. Third, behavior styles. Complete a behavior style checklist for a member of your team. Next two sessions. I also spoke about performance and I asked three questions. What percentage of your team's potential shows up at work? And the answers were great. In the morning session, it was about 60%. In the other afternoon session, it was somewhere around the same. But most typically, it's 60 to 80%. And we did the math about just how valuable it is if we could capture that potential. It's worth millions of profitable growth. We also spoke about the reasons or the roadblocks for reaching potential. And it can be us. So your coaching and your style can be holding your team back. We also had a great conversation about performance, how you measure it, input, output, and outcome, and the tomato examples, seeds, plants, and fruit. We looked at the way we measure performance, and there are over 25 ways that you can measure performance. We also looked at how we measure brands performance and business performance. The next concept was the law of limited performance. People settle for the level of performance that a manager will accept. The manager will accept that level and the performance drops further. People stop giving their best because you don't ask for it. The law of limited performance is probably one of the most important principles of this entire course. So we'll learn more about it as we move forward. In session three, we return to, a, to the familiar part of the manager hat to talk about managing the risk. Google the phrase managing with the law and see what you get. It will start you thinking about managing risk in your business. Call my cell phone or send me a note if you have any questions. I can't wait for the next session. You matter, so managing matters, so carry on. Thanks everybody.